Recently, I have been enamored at how you can increase the visual appeal of drinks with almost no added value. Take this glass of sparkling water for instance. It's boring. Now switch to a mason jar, add some ice, a few blueberries and strawberries, and garnish with some mint. Despite basically being the same thing, which one of these drinks would you prefer? Humans tend to associate increase of looks with increase of quality, which may be true sometimes, but often better looks don't take much more effort. Why do you think fast food commercials always look better than they taste? It makes you think you are getting a better deal than you are. This is true of fancy restaurants as well. However, there is a fine line to this as Chef Philip Lee explains in an article. Good photos may entice guests, but if it doesn't deliver on taste, they won't be back. This may be true on some regards, but in an article it says that multiple studies have shown that the appearance of food on a plate affects how diners perceive taste. And in a more specific situation, it shows a study from Oxford University where they gave 60 people three salads with exactly the same ingredients, just prepared differently, and asked them to rate them. One of the salads was simply tossed together, the other was neatly arranged on a plate but with no artistic pattern, and the third was assembled in a way to resemble a painting. This article says that the diners liked the one that looked like the painting the most because they believed it was the most complex. Based on the Oxford study, diners said they'd be willing to pay twice as much for a salad that is just organized differently. And along for paying twice as much for it, they literally believed it tasted 29% better. In an article from NPR about food presentation, they take the idea from literally what you see to how your brain reacts. Research has found that when you tell people that what they are eating or drinking is a high-end product, they won't just say that it tastes better than a cheaper product, their brains will actually experience it as better. They even went as far to do a study where subjects drink the same wine twice under an fMRI scanner. But with the same wine, they were told once it was a $90 bottle, and the other time it was a $10 bottle. Not only did these subjects report that the wine tasted better when it was presented as a much pricier vintage, but their brains reacted differently too. In these situations, with different presentation and explanation, your brain is quite literally deceiving you. And that is quite similar with fast food commercials as well, except it's visual in that sense. Just look at these side-by-side -side photos of fast food advertisement versus the actual thing. According to an FTC spokeswoman, Betsy Lorden, there are no specific FTC regulations governing food photos used in advertising, and the FTC has not pursued any cases alleging that food ads are deceptive based only on the photos. Now, it would be completely unfair to throw all food plating under the bus. It is a fantastic creative art form. It's just important to remember that an advertisement or fancy expensive meal or drink at a restaurant may be an aesthetic deception of quality.